Hello, you lot. How's it going? Hope you're all fine and dandy. Now, I've been waiting. I've been I've been itching to show you lot what I've got here. Now I've got some multimeters from Coits. Now they've been very very kind and sent me uh, three meters to try out and use, and then talk to you lot all about. So. The first one which I want to talk to you about is actually really nice. Comes in a little case. We'll have a look at it in detail in a minute and I'll show you exactly how it comes in the box. But I've been using these now for the best part of a week. And um, well, this one mostly more than the other ones. But it's a nice little smart multimeter. And um, let me tell you, it's, you know what? It's, it's actually pretty good. And the quality of it, for you know the price of it, is really nice the other thing we've got we've got an AC voltage tester um, which I haven't had the chance to actually use a, a lot yet so I will be doing a separate video on this I've got to do some rewiring in my house relatively soon so that will come in handy and then we've got the battery tester now the battery tester is something that will come in massively handy if you do a lot of cars and things like what I do um, so let's have a closer look at these because well, I've just been really excited to show them to you but I really wanted to use them first to make sure that my excitement was real and let me tell you the bloody well is C come on are you going to come and have a look or what don't just stand there come over here yeah have a look at this right so this is the this is the box what this little multimeter comes in this little multimeter here right comes in this box very nice little box you must pay attention to boxes because the manufacturers always put a lot of attention into doing the packaging and there's an interest in information all over the box and um, tells you a lot of stuff comes in this nice little box all packaged up nicely in there and you also get a very nice little instruction manual which is written in good English you can understand it and uh, it does make sense and it does tell you how to use it if you need to know also comes with a nice little velvet bag which you can put it in this is a little bit dirty because I've been nice I've been using it man I've been out and about I've been using this meter and um, it also comes with I put them in the bag so I didn't lose them because I wasn't actually using them the little ends now these are very handy because if you're doing some testing on like a circuit board or something like that and you don't want to risk anything touching that and shorting out you put these little ends on and then you just get the little tip just poking out there very nice very handy but I won't be using them for now so I'll stick them back in the bag so I don't lose them now because this is what they call a smart meter you don't have your great big dial like you do on conventional multimeters all you do press a button and it comes on right you can do various modes you've got live and phase and you can also do um, resistance and that as well but all you have to do is just turn it on and it's on auto mode so you've turned it on now you want to want to do a bit of testing now lovely jolly put that on there put that on there let me show you put the positive on there like that and then you just go bloop and there we go we're reading potential man we're reading the potential it's 12.66 volts on this battery it's a little bit dead i know but uh that's what it is and it's easy as well if you want to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of resistance let's just say for example you got this wire and you want to make sure that it's not broken inside so you want to test the resistance what you got to do don't do anything leave the meter alone it's in auto mode man all you got to do is put your probe on the end of the wire right go to the other end touch it and it does its thing it goes green and it beeps at you and it also tells you the value if you want to know the value very very easy to use a nice meter and it's got a little torch Man, that's come in handy a few times I've been outside underneath a bonnet of a car and I'm looking around and I'm thinking oh, I've bloody got to test that, I can't find the wire and believe it or not my torch went flat and I'm thinking oh man, now I ain't got no to torch I thought I got one on the end of my meter so I'm going like that, looking around it's a lovely little torch, 
turn that off and that's that it will turn off by itself or you can hold the button that is extremely handy a nice little meter works very well and uh well what can i say let's move on to the battery tester i don't know about you but when it comes to battery testers i like ones that are just nice and simple you know they test batteries and and that's it and one of the other things that is important to me is that the leads are long enough so that if you're testing a battery while it's on the car perhaps you want to test the battery and you want to take it out of the car or you want to test the alternator efficiency or something like that this comes with loads and loads and loads i think it's two meters long something like that loads of cable plenty of cable um, you can attach that to your battery go and sit inside your car and take the meter itself with you no problem there whatsoever so this thing doesn't have any batteries inside it all it is that's like that right and all you have to do attach it to your battery and the battery powers the meter or the tester tells you the voltage 12.55 on this particular battery and all you have to do is press a button you select 12 or 24 volts does obviously do both as you can see there this is a 12 volt battery so we'll just press the 12 volt button now you can test battery you can do a crank test you can do a load test or you can do a charging test the load test and the charging test have to be done when the battery is in a car because you have to raise up the old rpm on the engine for it to do its test um, but you can do a battery test and a crank test on the battery just on the bench like that do a battery test press the button you select what you want to do you can do a standard battery or you can do your just your, your gel battery or anything like that just press your thing we want a cold cranking amps um, all them ones are like standard things for different countries and whatever else press that parameters put in the amperage it's uh, 425 go testing and it says attention state of charge 72 percent state of health 46 percent this particular battery isn't particularly healthy it um this this particular battery actually come off of a car and now i use it to power ham radios so it, you know it gets discharged and charged quite often so it's not particularly healthy battery um and the volts 12.51 cold cranking amps 290 um as you can see there it tells you what the cold cranking amps are and also the resistance 9.61 milliohms so that is that we can go back from there and then we can go down and then we can do a crank test and see what that comes up with that comes up with good actually dynamic voltage 12.49 volts cranking voltage 12.49 standard 10.2 so that's actually come out good for a crank test now we can't actually do a load test if we if we do try and do a load test it says turn on the load fully and increase the speed to 2000 to 2500 rpm then press enter if you try and do that it tells you it's a foul that's because well it's not on the car it has to be on the car for it to do that uh, what else can you do you can also press that and it'll tell you what your records are if you've got any records um i think if you hold that how did i do it before i can't remember how i did it before was it that one oh, it's that button you can select all the different languages that you might need depending on what language you speak um, we'll go back from that but this this is a handy piece of kit and it's very well built it feels nice the displacement tells you that in the absence of any battery information the user can estimate the cold cranking amps value based on the vehicle displacement and it even tells you on the back here look if we get a bit of a focus on that please mr camera the displacement of the vehicle 1200 to 1600 cc 3500 1600 to 2500 2000 to 3000 cc 650 3000 cc plus 750 so it tells you 
a little bit of information just in case you didn't know that might be quite a handy little piece of information but this is a nice piece of kit and as you saw it does come in this little bag with a little instruction book tells you how to use it if you need it a little bag and the box for which it comes in is this box here a little piece of information on there if you wanted to read any of that you're more than welcome to pause it and have a little look but uh it tells you everything what it does so that my friends is that and I've used this a few times and I found it very very handy um, because the fact that the leads the lead is so long you can literally put it on the car go and sit in the driver's seat start the engine look at it there's no problem a lot of battery testers they only have a short little lead so you like that you know you're tethered to the battery and you're just like oh well, that's not good but this thing no it's brilliant absolutely brilliant let's have a little look now let's go back to this meter and let's have a little look this is a six volt battery um it goes in you know those little cars what kids have uh, you sit on them and they go along little six volt jeeps and things like that it goes in one of them i've just charged it up because it was a bit it wasn't it was flat basically um so let's see now put this on let's see what we're getting you you're, you're coming with me now because i was going to test this anyway to see if it's holding its charge but uh this is a uh, live this is live now you're going to be able to see exactly what i'm doing and put that there like that it's going to be difficult for me to hold it to be honest I might better jam that on there like that there you go that should do the trick hopefully we can put that on there and we're getting 6.58 volts and the good thing is it's not dropping thing is though it should be about 7.2 to 7.5 so the fact that it's reading 6.58 it's a bit low and it's just charged as well so that's not good for the battery I mean it's good for the meter the meter's doing its job the battery's not good I think I need to get a new battery for that don't you right tell you what though something which I forgot to mention earlier on is the fact that it has this little grooves on the back and what you do you just they're a bit tight but they do do the job snap them in there oh, I've turned it on turn it off and you put them on there like that and that keeps your probes all nice all you've got to do put your wires like that slot them in the little bag like that meter goes in rest of your wires go in there happy days kept all nice and safe when you put it back in the toolbox it's not all going to get scratched that is really nice i like that that is lovely now we can have a little look at this like i say i haven't had a chance to use this one yet um i haven't got any uh ac stuff that i've been doing but i have had it out of the box and i have had a look at it so we can have a look at it together as well um i will be doing a full video on this tester when i do some work with uh, ac in a little while but this is quite a nicely built little tester it's like a pen thing it's got a little clip on the back <coughs> excuse me the range is uh should tell me somewhere i think it's 500 if i remember correctly and uh 12 to 300 volts there you go ac voltage 12 to 300 volts so there's plenty of range there especially if you're in a country like i am in england where we have 240 volts at the mains press that on and uh, all you have to do is just touch some electric and away you go so you can hold that down as well it's also got a little torch on it so you can see where you're going if you need to let's see if we can find some electric to test shall we so if we look here this plug is plugged in and the wire goes off right if we uh put that on there 
that tells me that it's live. If I hold down on the voltage button there, it will tell me the amount of volts that it's sensing. 29, 33 volts, I if you can see that. 34, 40, that's what it's, 56 there, you probably can't see that, 56. It's sensing that that is a live wire. That is a very handy piece of equipment. Let's see, this is also live, this wire here. If we put that on there, yep, definitely live. Hold that down. Not sensing any voltage though. 13, 10. And it's sensing that through the cable. 12 volts. Very, very handy. That is a very good piece of equipment. I like that a lot. This is also live. Put that on there. Uh, it's not sensing anything through that cable though. Oh, there it is. 11 volts in. It's only a little bit there. Now it's important to remember, the faster the beep, the higher the voltage. So if it's a slow beep, it means there's low voltage. If the beep is fast, it means there's high voltage, which is why when it goes there, slow beep, if I hold it down, it's reading naught volts, but it's sensing there is some voltage there, some electric. That one says high. I don't know if you can see that. It's coming up red and saying high. See? High. If I hold that down, 48 volts, Now, that is enough to do some damage to you. You know, we have 240 volts here. Now, 48 is enough. for will give you a bit of a zap and you'll be like, whoa, you know. So it's quite dangerous. That's a very interesting piece of kit. I will be using this actually properly for some actual work in, <coughs> in a few weeks' time when I rewire my house. Um, I'm going to put new sockets in, new plugs, new light switches, a few new lights and bits and bobs like that. So this will come in handy because I like to make sure that I'm not going to get an electric shock um, before I go touching things, even though the electric will be turned off at the breaker. I will be testing to make sure that uh, there is no electric there. So that is that. This is a lovely piece of equipment. So there we go, everyone. All of this equipment, all of these meters, I think, are things that everybody should have if you're a DIYer. Even if you're not a multimeter, just a multimeter is very handy to have, and a battery test is handy to have, because if your car all of a sudden in the morning is getting a bit slow to turn over and a bit slow to start, instead of paying a mechanic loads of money, you can just go and test your battery yourself for a fraction of the cost, and once you've got it, you can test it as many times as you like always a handy piece of equipment to have and if you want to buy any of these what you see here or you can go on the website on the Kuwait's website and have a look around there's loads on there just go on there but if you want to buy any of these on this table here what you see there'll be a link in the description of this video if you click on that you will be helping me and you'll be getting yourself a really cool piece of equipment that you can use on anything in your shed in your car in your home really handy pieces of equipment and you won't be disappointed thanks for watching really appreciate every single one of you and trust me you're going to be seeing all three of these meters but particularly the multimeter in a lot more videos to come because well as you look know i do a lot of testing of electric especially in modern day everything's got bloody electric on it everything's got computers everything's got wires you have to do testing to get to where you need to be these days. So the Multimate will be going in a lot of videos. So I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. All the best. Treat everyone equally. Treat everybody the same. And we'll all have a happy life. And go and buy yourself a Multimeter. Click on that link. Catch you later.